Thanks for joining me. I'm Nate again, and I'm going to give you an in-depth demonstration of how Connected works. Now, what we're looking at here is a typical old wired alarm panel. And you'll find this either in a closet, maybe under your stairs. You'll have a spool of wires coming out of your wall, and they're connected to various screw terminals along the bottom. The Connected alarm panel looks very similar, just a lot smaller. So the first step for you is to identify how many of these wires that you have which correspond to sensors in your in your home and label them. But right now I'm going to show you what it looks like once you've replaced your old alarm panel with the connected alarm panel. So this is a connected alarm panel and I've added a bunch of components here to sort of show you uh, all of the common wired alarm system components that you will find in your in your home and how connected can work with all of them. These terminals, these black terminals on the left, are for your power. Some of these alarm system components, such as the motion sensor, the siren, require 12 volts of power, and all of that power is coming through the connected alarm panel via this one 12 volt power adapter. Now when you're wiring your connected alarm panel, it's actually very simple. Each of your wired alarm system sensors, we have door sensors, window sensors, uh, motion sensors, are are basically going to have one wire with a pair of inner, inner core conductors in it. And wired alarm system sensor is really a simple circuit loop. So all we need to do is connect one of those wires to each zone, and the zones are, are numbered here on the, on the circuit board of the connected alarm panel. And then the second wire, there's a G, a, which stands for ground, which is in between each zone. And so we're connecting one end of the wire to zone one and the other end of the wire to zone two. And zone one here in this case is, is my door. So let's demonstrate how connected works with all of these wires alarm system components. I've got here on my phone, I've already set up my connected alarm panel in the SmartThings application. And now I can show you how it responds almost instantly to any door motion or window opening, opening and closing. So let's start from the door first. So we see that our demo door is open here. And if I close it, then within a second, it should update to closed. And now we'll open it again. And you'll see that it's open, showing to update. Now if I tap into this, you can see kind of in a, in a larger view. And the door is closed. And the door is open. Responds within, within a second or two. Now let's check our windows. Now a lot of times in your home, you'll, you may have a room full of windows. And often these windows are tied together in zones. So if you're looking at your alarm system wiring and you see a couple of wires that are crimped together with a, with a wire crimp like this, that's most likely you, know, you have a, a bank of windows and they're wired together in zones. I recommend always that you connect each door individually and each motion sensor individually, but windows, if they're in the same room or in the same part of the house, they can be tied together in zones so that you don't have you know, too many devices in your in your home automation platform. So when windows are tied together in zones, these are the typical magnetic window sensors that you see very commonly on all of your windows. If either one of the windows is opened, then you'll see the demo window is open. And let's show that a little bit larger. So I've just opened one of those two windows, and I'll put it back, and it'll show up as closed. If I open either, the other one, then it'll also show up as open. So this is how we can connect windows together or combine multiple sensors together in zones, and then the other terminal end is connected to the, to the ground. Now let's look at our motion sensor. Now the motion sensor is a little bit different in that the motion sensor is also powered. So if I look for my motion sensor wire, the motion sensor wire is going to have four inner wires. We've got a red, black, and in this case, green and white. Uh, I've also seen green and yellow. It doesn't really matter the colors. But red and black are always for your 12 volt power. And the connected alarm panel supplies 12 volt power to your motion sensors. That's the first and second terminal, the, the plus and the minus. And so this keeps the motion sensor powered at all times. And then the motion sensor signal is just like any other signal. And that's connected to the zone and the ground. And that's all there is to it. Um, and then when you power up your connected alarm panel, it sends power to the motion sensor. And you can see most of these motion sensors have a little red light when it detects motion. And you're seeing it kind of blink motion, no motion, uh, as, as our camera guys are moving in front of the camera. 
Now, a lot of people are, are, are accustomed to their old alarm system. When you open a door or open a window, the old keypad makes a beep beep sound. Now, a lot of you have asked me, how do we make that beep beep sound with connected? So what we've done here, and up here I've, is, is a, this device is called a PZO buzzer. One of these or something very similar to it is what's inside your alarm keypad. And now, of course, we don't need those keypads anymore because everything's controlled via your phone. But if you wanted to recreate that beep beep when a door opens or closes, you can do so with this. And so I've set that up just the same. This one doesn't require any additional power except for the, the, the signal from the connected panel. So I have my wire called beep. I've connected the red uh, to, to the zone and the black to the ground. Now if I press this, it'll make that beep beep sound. Great. Now, all we need to do to make that happen anytime a door opens or closes is to set up an automation in SmartThings or your smart home um, automation platform so that when a door opens, it turns on the beep. Now let's talk about the siren. Now the siren, um, your wired alarm system also comes with a siren most often. Um, you could use, you could use a, um, a strobe light as well. Basically any 12 volt powered noise making or signaling device will work with connected and the feature of the connected board that powers the siren are these two terminals these two black terminals here labeled alarm minus and plus so the minus is the ground and the one this this one on the right here is is the positive and the the connected board will energize the siren when when smart things or when your home automation platform tells it to turn on the siren. I can manually turn on the siren, but of course, um, in the normal case, the alarm system siren will go off when an intrusion is detected, but I just want to demonstrate how great it we works. All right, there we go. And that's the detailed demonstration on the connected alarm panel. So now that we've wired all of our zones and, and we have power running to the connected alarm panel, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to configure it inside the SmartThings app. Now you've already set up the connected smart app in your SmartThings IDE um, and the documentation for that is on our website. Now all we need to do is go to automation, smart apps, tap on connected. Um, each of your connected units will show up here. In this case I'm working with a connected demo. I've already paired it but there will be a, a, a pairing step if you haven't done that yet. So let's just go to connected demo and then next. And now here's where you can name the device and then name all of the, the zones. Uh, I need, so basically, let's look at zone one, a tap here, and these are all the different types of sensors that Connected supports. So all you have to do is choose which type of sensor it is. In this case, it's a door, so that's an open-close sensor. Uh, let me just set that back. Open-close sensor and then give it a name and then as you can see as we scroll down we can define the other zones and all you got to do is tap save and you'll see the green bar and then what you'll see here is the the board will restart and the it's blinking its light meaning it's rebooting reconnecting to wi-fi the connected board has got its configuration from smart things and now from then on it will instantly update the status every time the door opens and closes so let's go back and let's check that out so I'm going to go back to my home, room, my connected demo board. We got the door open, and now it's closed, and now it's open. A lot of people have asked me about what happens when the power goes out. Can I use a backup battery? But often I found that if the battery is anywhere as close to as old as that wired alarm system, it's probably not going to work so well anymore. So I recommend an alternative, this lithium ion 12 volt battery backup. Uh, which I bought on Amazon for about $30. Um, now this, this battery backup is designed for 12 volt devices such as routers or Wi-Fi access points, but it works great for connected and you'll get several hours of battery backup here in case your power goes out. Um, and it's very simple to set up. It's light, it can even be mounted to the wall, um, or it can be uh, kind of hidden inside your alarm panel. And all you have to do is take that 12 volt power source, unplug it from the connected board, plug it into the battery backup, the green light comes on, meaning it's charging, and then take the other power plug and hook it up to the connected board. There we go. 
And now let's just press this button and now the board is powered up and we have battery backup power. That's it. That's all there is to it to set it up. And now I can demonstrate if the power goes out by just simply unplugging the power source from the wall. The green light stays on and as you can see the, the connected board is still blinking and still communicating its status just fine to SmartThings uh, as well as powering all of your motion sensors and, uh, and other sensors as well. But I really hope that you'll back us today because I'm planning on sourcing these so I can sell them as an optional add-on in the connected kit uh, because it really works so great. So please back us today on Kickstarter.